Today I'm going to show you how to make a super easy and quick drawstring carrot pouch. These are great for Easter decor, or it's also great to fill with little treats for Easter egg hunts or Easter baskets, or even little parties. They come in three different sizes, and the link below in the description box will take you to those pattern pieces that you can print at home. If you are watching from our website, alohasewingcompany.com, welcome and sew along with us. So here are the materials you need to make one drawstring carrot pouch. I'm making it in the regular size, and here are those pattern pieces. I've already cut out two each of each of those pattern pieces, and I've grabbed my ribbon. Here's my carrot top my carrot bottom, and my satin ribbon that I'm using for the drawstring. You can use any kind of ribbon you want. You can even make your own out of bias tape, or you can use some cord. You're going to measure your ribbon or whatever you're using three to three and a half times the width of your carrot. Go ahead and cut it, and if you're just doing one sided drawstring like in my picture you only need one if you want to have this drawstring on both sides go ahead and cut two by measuring that first one against your ribbon and cutting it the same size after you have your ribbon cut go ahead and get one piece of each of your fabrics get the carrot top and fold it in half and crease it right down there at the fold and then the raw edges of that carrot top piece are going to match up to the raw edges on the top of your bottom carrot piece. Line it up straight and pin or clip it in place if you need to. And then you are gonna sew right there across the top using a 1 4th inch seam allowance. Here is mine sewn right across the top. You can go over these raw edges with a zigzag stitch if you want to. You can also use pinking shears, or you can leave it as is, especially if you've used a serger instead of a sewing machine. Now open your carrot piece and flatten out the seam that you just created. And then you're going to get your ribbon and measure the width of it if you don't know it. And you're going to sew a line to make a casing for this ribbon right above where the ribbon should lie. So mine's 5 eighths of an inch, so I'm going to sew it approximately 7 eighths of an inch, right above where my ribbon would be. You can make a small dot here and on the other side here if you want to, to have a sewing guide. So here is mine, and that created a little casing tube that we're going to put our ribbon in later. And here it is, so I can show you what kind of casing it made here. The safety pin that we're going to use to put in there should fit in there nicely. So even if you use a smaller ribbon, make sure it's big enough for your safety pin to fit through. Now you're going to go ahead and follow the same steps for the other side of your carrot. And once you get to this part, I like to make a small dot right on the side to match up where I had sewn the tube for my front piece. And that just makes it have a little sewing guide. And then we're gonna do the same thing and sew a straight line to make that casing tube. And now that we have those done, you're gonna lay them with the right sides together and match them up right there at the top where you made that casing tube line. And pin or clip it right next to it where your tube is going to be because you're not gonna sew that area, so you wanna make sure you remember not to by pinner, pinning or clipping in that area. Now go ahead and place a couple more pins or clips to hold this in place because we're getting ready to sew it together. Now, you are going to sew from the top to the very first seam right here, and then go to the second seam and go ahead and sew all the way along the bottom of your carrot and stop right where your casing is, and then you're gonna start at the top of the casing and go to the top of your carrot. One more time. Go sew from the top of your carrot to the first casing line. You're not gonna sew in between where your casing is on each side. Here is mine all sewn up. You can see, like I mentioned, you're not gonna sew the line through your casing tube that you created. You're gonna sew all the way around your carrot except for those areas. After you have this done, 
We're going to go to the bottom of your carrot, right where the corner is, and we're gonna clip off that corner right up to the stitches, but making sure not to clip through your stitches. This will reduce the bulk in that little corner as we flip it right side out like we're doing now. So go ahead and flip it right side out. And then I like to use a chopstick to go ahead and smoothen out all the seams on the inside and carefully poke towards the bottom to poke out that bottom corner. You're all done with the sewing process at this point. Now the only thing we have left to do is put our ribbon or cord right into the casing tubes. On each side of your carrot, you'll see that you have a small little hole. We're gonna use those little holes to feed our ribbon or cord through for the drawstring part. So go ahead and get your safety pin, get your ribbon or cord or whatever you're using, and you're going to put the safety pin through the one of the ends of your ribbon. If you are only making this a one-sided drawstring like I have shown, you only need one piece of ribbon, so you only have to do this once. If you want the drawstring to have strings coming out of each side, you're gonna follow this process on this side, and then you're gonna do it again on the other side. Go ahead and feed your safety pin through the hole of your carrot bag so it comes out the inside of your pouch. Pull the ribbon a little bit, but don't pull it through the hole entirely. And then you will see your little casing for each side of your carrot pouch. You're gonna put that safety pin right in between that sandwich two layers of fabric where you made the casing. And you're going to feed that safety pin with your ribbon or cord all the way around to the other side seam that has the hole. Once you get to that side, you're gonna to go to the inside of your pouch and you're gonna pull that safety pin through the hole and pull a little bit of ribbon along with it, making sure that the rest of your ribbon doesn't completely go through the hole so that you have one end of your drawstring. Once you've pulled it through, go ahead and stick it in the other side of your carrot pouch tube casing, just like I'm doing right here, and continue to feed it around until you get to that other hole on the other side of that side seam. Once you've gotten to this part, to the other side seam that you started at, pull that safety pin through the inside of the pouch, and then the hole that's in the middle of those seams, poke it up through that hole and pull your safety pin through. Now go ahead and tug your ribbon and open this up a little bit so that you can even your ribbon strands. Now we're going to go ahead and take your safety pin off of your ribbon or cord. And if you're using a ribbon or cord that frays, just go ahead and snip a little cut there to get the frays and stuff off. And you can also go over the ends of that ribbon with a lighter just so slightly so that it won't fray. Now you're just gonna create a little knot towards the end of the ribbon so that it doesn't pull through your drawstring pouch. And you're gonna do it to both of the ribbon pieces. If you are using this as a double-sided drawstring pouch, you're gonna go ahead and get your other ribbon now and do this entire process, but starting on the other side seam and you are all finished. It is super cute, super quick, super easy to make, and I hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun sewing along with me please 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 like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel to see all of our easy sewing patterns as they're released visit aloasewingcompany.com or the link is down below in the description box on youtube to see all of our super easy sewing patterns that you can print at home so you can start to sew faster 
We make sewing patterns for literally everything from baby items, kids clothes, decorations, holiday stuff and gifts, bags and more. And before you go, mahalo.